Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and today I'm going to show you how to create smart objects in Affinity Photo. Well, almost smart objects, but watch what I can do with, a, with this as a smart object. We just changed our favorite pet from a cat to a dog, and it took no time, and you can just create many, many layouts that way. Uh, you can do them for clients, you can do them for your friends, you can do them for photographs of your family. So this is a horrible looking layout <laughs> and I will explain that in in this tutorial and I don't care about the layout. I was just trying to show quickly how you do it. It's up to you to be creative with your layout. So let's get started. The first thing we want to do is we want to just create a new file. I just chose photo. You can choose again any size you want and I'm going into the stock photo and I looked up cat and I will just pick what I think is a cute cat and I think that's pretty good and we'll move out a little bit because it's too big for this photo and I'll shrink it down to size and then I'll type dog And again, these are free stock photos. If you don't know where they are, if you don't see the stock photo thing, you can look up view, studio, and stock. And these are all free to use for commercial and personal use. Okay, so now I think that dog looks good. I'll pick that dog. And let's bring him to size. Bigger, I guess something like that okay that looks good now let's go to our layers and I want to type dog D O G. let's get a close-up here doesn't matter what font you choose the font that you like eh, maybe I will choose something more fun uh, I'm going down the line, checking out what font I might like. Oh, that looks pretty good. I like that rough Bradley hand. And maybe I'll even give it an outline. Uh, maybe a white outline so it could be seen. Just like that. Okay, that looks good. And then I'm going to duplicate that. Control or Command J to duplicate it and let's hide the dog and then I'm going to type oops never mind sorry and now I'm going to select that one and type cat and hide the other one of course and so what we're going to do now is let's take the dog and the picture of the dog and the word dog and group it and that's our dog. And then we'll take a picture of the cat and the word cat. And we're going to group it. And we're going to call it cat. And so there's a... Oops, why don't I see it? Oh, there we go. So there's our cat, which I think will move away from his face. How about like right there? Okay, so there's our cat and there's our dog. So now we're going to save this. And I did save one already, but I'll save it over the last one. I'm going to say save and we'll call it, I'm going to call it Smart Object Original Save. And re, I'm going to replace it. So we're done with that. We can even close this if we want. Let's just close it. Then we do File New. And maybe this time I will put a layer. This is not going to be a beautiful layout, but I just want to give you an idea of what you can do here. Uh, let's do a fill layer. And I think I'll do a linear. And linear means I can create a gradient. So let's click this, pick the color. Uh, maybe a uh, pale blue, 
and maybe this one, pick a color and say something in this area, but really light. And I'll move this a little bit, maybe just like that. Okay. So that's our background and we can lock that background in and now we'll create some shapes. So let's do a rectangle. Of course, it's we're going to give the rectangle any color. I'll give it black. In fact, it doesn't really matter what color, but let's do one rectangle here. Let's take another rectangle and maybe here. And then another one. So I'm duplicating that and maybe make a really small one like that and then instead of a rectangle maybe I'll take um, the cog tool like that and let's get rid of the hole whoops that's that whoops that's the wrong one let's get rid of the hole and make the radius higher and let's see what else we can do more teeth or change the tooth size maybe. I like that. Okay, we'll keep that. All right, so here is your pretty bad layout. <laughs> and what we'll do here is, you know what, we'll type right here. Um, favorite pet. Okay, and maybe we'll do something like this and we'll make that a little bigger like that. Okay, so we're all set up now. So now that you have this beautiful layout, <laughs> please, I, I end up uh, taking days to do layouts. I used to anyway for clients and I would never ever have put this in something like this, but it's really just to teach you the techniques and then it's up to you to be creative and create layouts that you would want. So the first thing we'll do is we will select one of these boxes just to show rectangle, just to show where it is. And then we'll say file place and we'll choose that, um, that file that we created. And here's the cat and maybe we'll put it to that size and then we'll drag it down and to the right and the cat is clipped in, right? And then we can duplicate that control or command J and we'll move that one to the cog. Of course, you don't see it because it's not behind it. So we move that one right there. I'm going to go a little smaller. So just so it fits. And then I will do control or command J again. And this time we'll move it to this one, which is the one below it. So let's drag that down and let's do this, maybe a little smaller. And then one more time, control or command J and we'll drag that under the other rectangle and we'll make that one. Well, we have to keep it that way. Okay. So there's your setup. And now let's say that your favorite pet is not a cat. So what you would do is you can either click on one of these actual photos and not the group, but one of these photos, or you can double, double click a couple of times till you get to that layer. But I would click on a photo. And if you click on the photo, it says edit document because it's a place document, which is embedded. So if you edit the document, and you go here and you turn that layer off and turn that layer on and then go back to your document. You only see it in one, which I think is a bug in affinity. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think what you have to do is double click on one of the others and then bring it back. And now they're all dogs. So your favorite pet is a dog. So that works out pretty good. So let's try that one more time. If you, click on any one of these. Oops. I am. I want to close this embedded one now. So if you click on one of these, 
and it says edit document doesn't matter which one anything that says embedded here which is a place you could say edit document and in fact you, instead of changing it to cat I'm going to change the lettering to say doggy and then if, as soon as you go back they all say doggy now so that's like that's kind of how you can do a smart object another thing you can do is take the group for example that's this one over here and you can do effects for and maybe give it say an outline and let's make the outline white and give it something like that and close that and then you can also say this one I'm gonna make this really pretty ugly so uh, we can do a color overlay uh, let's change it to overlay and maybe I don't know a bluish color close it so even though these look different what all you have to do now is go into that again just touch it then say edit document and now instead of the doggy we can change that to the cat and hopefully this works so we go back and again you see only one cat which I still think is a bug but I think if you click one of the other one double click it and then go back there you go so now the same the effects came on to the, the new one now so this is the color overlay which is pretty ugly here's the white outline each one is sized the way they originally were so that's kind of what I mean by um, smart object you can use it and have it embedded and you can change things very simply anytime you want just create the one file where you're embedding them in and make the changes so I hope you like this tutorial if you do please click like and please subscribe. Myself and many others are doing these tutorials because we love doing them, but it is really a big value to you. And, the, and if you subscribe, it helps us on YouTube. It helps bring attention to us and it helps YouTube recognize us. So please, 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 please click subscribe and have a good day.